Hey guys, welcome to today's Big Brother 18 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Mike Schumacher. Hey man, I wish you could see this view I have right now. Lucy's looking at me like, it's really funny. But anyway, hope you're having a great day. And if you guys want to be house guest of the day, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. Alright, so I want to start off today's show by saying Nicole actually believes that Michelle is Dan Giesling's cousin. Remember, like, when Michelle was on her way out and she was like, I'm stealing Pablo and I'm Dan Giesling's cousin-in-law. Nicole believed that. Oh my god! So Nicole was like, I wonder if she even went to Michigan State or if she was just repping Dan's stuff. And she was saying they don't even have the same last name. Uh, maybe because they're not related. You don't have to have the same last name, though, to be related anyway. But, um, yeah, so Nicole... She's on board with that. She's thinking that maybe some of the other newbies also have secrets. Like maybe Corey is like a model or something. <laughs> She's going to be a little disappointed at that one. Um, for multiple reasons. Also, she thinks maybe Paul's got a secret. They've been speculating that maybe he's related to the Kardashians. There are non-Kardashian Armenians in the world. There are. Many. But anyway, um, <laughs> last night was pretty slow. Nicole and Corey were playing dominoes, Natalie was working out, she's all like, I'm gonna get my body back in time to talk to Julie. Okay, and um, then, then Paul decided it's time to overplay. <laughs> He's getting a little bored, he needs something to do. So he was talking to Victor in the HOH room and Paul's like, I still want to get some clarification on what really went down during Natalie and Michelle's co-HOH week. So. He decides, you know what, I'm going to confront James about it. And Victor's like, yeah, we're not doing anything right now. <laughs> that could make for some interesting TV. So Paul asked James to go up to the HOH room to talk. And this was a huge missed opportunity here because he was just like, hey, James, can you come up here for a minute? He totally could have called him on the phone and it would have been so much better, but he blew it. You know, they have not been using that phone and it's very disappointing. But anyway, Paul was like, James, I've got some questions for you about the week that I was up on the block against Victor. And James is like, yeah, what do you got? Uh, I'm a straight shooter. Hot dog Sammy. Hit me up. So <laughs> Paul is like, I was told that Nicole and Corey were the ones that told Natalie that I was targeting you. Did you follow that? Because I don't know if I followed that. <laughs> Let me just say that again because I'm not sure... Uh, if that was right. So Paul is saying, I heard that Nicole and Corey were the ones that told Natalie that <laughs> shit. I heard that Nicole and Corey were the ones telling Natalie that I was targeting you. But now I'm hearing some different stuff. He's saying now I've heard that you were the one who told Natalie that. But why would he say I don't know, whatever. Um, but anyway, James is saying no, that's not the case. He's talking about that rumor that Polly started uh, when he was like, everybody's got to go after James. So then, oh no. Yes. I'm so, <laughs> it's Labor Day. <laughs> okay. So anyway, James is like, no, that's not the case. Nicole is the one who told Natalie, which is true. He is telling the truth there. I think that Paul is mixing things up here. Um, Paul is like, yeah, Natalie is the one who's saying that it was you who told her. So he's like, I'm not trying to drive a wedge between you two, but I want to clear it up. Right. Just before Paul was telling Victor that he did want to drive a wedge between the two of them. He wanted them to feel really uneasy with each other because he wants whoever stays to be all messed up for the HOH competition. So then Victor jumps in. And he's like, yeah, Natalie told us that she got some bad advice from you and she regretted taking it. So if this is what Paul is actually referring to, that had nothing to do with the whole Polly rumor. Because when she said that she got some bad advice, she was talking about trusting Nicole and Corey, you know, when they were trying to decide who to vote out between Corey and Victor. And James was all like, I'm voting out Victor. That's what she was talking about there. But... He is like lining this up with something else and it's be it's making everything weird. So then James is like, wait, what? Um, she told me that she was campaigning for me to stay this week. Uh, so then Paul and Victor were like, yeah, but here's the thing. She talked to us 
twice and they're going through the two times that Natalie was like I'm sorry I betrayed you so they're saying the first time she apologized she blamed it all on James like she apologized for backstabbing them but she was like it's because I followed James's advice and then the second time uh, she said again I'm sorry for backstabbing you but you should vote me out uh, you should keep James this week so she was saying to keep James um, but Paul was like I'm calling bullshit on that because the two different meetings were contradictory and blah 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 so James is like well yeah Natalie said something really weird last night she said she would never talk to me again if I worked with certain people he didn't specify who but at first Paul was like oh really that's interesting like tell me more so James was then telling him about like other drama that he's had with Natalie that <laughs> Paul does not give a shit about you know relationship stuff like I touched her knee while she was asleep and she moved it up and Paul was just like I don't care about this like no I just wanted to know about that one situation about the I, like am I coming after you rumor whatever Okay, so he thanks James for being honest and stuff. Thanks for answering my question. So that conversation's over. After James leaves, Paul and Victor are debating what should we tell Nicole and Corey about this conversation? Because they don't want <clears throat> Nicole and Corey to be all sketched out if James goes ahead and mentions this to Nicole and Corey before they get the chance to. So... Victor's like, well, we could just say that we were messing around with James so he would be upset with Natalie. And Paul's like, no. Um, he's thinking he's going to tell them that he was just trying to get to the bottom of why he was made public enemy number one that week. He's still not really sure what happened there, so he's still like, I need to figure those out. Um, all right. I didn't see him talk to Nicole and Corey about this. I guess he decided, like, who the frig cares? <laughs> I'm just going to let this one go. All right, so today they had the power veto competition, or sorry, ceremony. Corey did not use the POV as expected, which means that either James or Natalie will be leaving this week. And um, Nicole and Corey were discussing this week's vote. We've, we've seen so far this week that they want Natalie to go, but Nicole is getting second thoughts. She's like, I really don't want to go against Victor and Paul. Like, she wants this to be a unanimous decision. She doesn't want it to split their group. So Corey's like, uh, yeah, but we really need to look out for what's best for our own game at this point. Um, and it would be better for them to keep James because if James stays, he's more likely to work with them. And, you know, that's a vote for them. Also, if James wins HOH, he'd be more likely to put up Victor and Paul. And then on the flip side, Natalie is more likely to work with Victor and Paul. Um, so they definitely want to be keeping James around. And also, <laughs> do Nicole and James have a preseason deal or what? All right. Um, so Corey's saying, we already did them a favor by keeping them safe last week. We got to do what's best for us now. And Nicole's like, mm, I think we should still, you know, wait on it. See if we can convince Paul and Victor that they really do want Natalie out this week. So we've seen already that Paul is like, sure but victor he still wants james to go so today the house guests have been chilling mostly there's been a lot of dominoes action um they thought it was memorial day <laughs> come on people i know you've been locked in a house for three months but really memorial day um but i want to say to all you guys happy labor day i'm sorry if this was kind of a mess but i think my brain is ready for the season to be over and it's labor day all right, so leave uh, your comments below what you're thinking, and we'll pick it up here tomorrow. And until then, much loved.